Harris Mountain gets its name from a gentleman named Richard Pierce. And I use the term gentleman kind of loosely because I didn't know the guy. But the stories are varied all over about who this guy was. In the early 1700s, I guess he was like one of the first settlers, uh, first white settlers here in the area. He married a Cherokee woman and they had a son named George and they built a trading post and a grist mill on the Reedy River right down town Greenville. It's right downtown Greenville. I guess he absconded or was given or traded for or flat out stole the acreage from the Cherokee Indian Nation. There are a lot of stories about this guy, and not all of them are good. But uh, anyway, he actually sided with the British uh, during the Revolutionary War, and we burned his plantation down, and he had to wind up moving to the Bahamas. But the name Paris is a derivative of Pyrrhus. It's a different spelling. Uh, but that's where Paris Mountain got its name is from this guy who actually owned this land at one point. To me, this little foot bridge is one of the central iconic images of Paris Mountain State Park and is representative of the architecture that was created by the Civilian Conservation Corps. These guys would source local materials, local stone, local wood, and create these amazing structures in all these parks. And we we're fortunate to have all this stuff. I don't want to be that negative. No, but you know what? So the CCC built out all these shelters, and all of these shelters are hand-hewn logs. Every one of them. All these beams are cut by hand. They're not chainsaw, they're not sawmilled. They're cut by hand. And these were boys back in, you know, the late 30s, early 40s, building this stuff. Just 17 years old. Mm -hmm. All right. This is shelter five. Uh, there's another shelter over there. With, they got real nice fireplaces inside. I'm sure you have to reserve these. It's a real nice area to have a family get together. Man, Derek used to bring us out here as this was one of our big training nights when we were doing um, phase three, yeah. max motivation. And he put us in this one, doing push-ups, sit-ups, crunches, and carrying each other. We were in this stream. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> I, was, I was more fit at that point in my life than ever. Yeah, before bet. or after. <laughs> yeah, met some really fine people doing that. But we worked out here, I mean, for hours and hours and hours, right in that field, all in this creek, soaking wet, hot summer. We did not sit in this chair. <laughs>
I do remember running through here and this trail was, seemed like it was always muddy. Always muddy. So there's two sulfur springs trails. This is the old sulfur springs and the other one's on the other side. This is the non-mountain bike side. You're not supposed to be on this side on mountain bike. I didn't even know you could mountain bike up here on Saturday. Yeah, but even, I think it's every other day is what they do. Yeah. Um, I have to check with the rules. It's been a long time since I've been up here, but <clears throat> even on mountain bike day, this trail is off limits. Yeah, we were, this is probably the muddy section. <laughs> is... So you'd come through here running and you'd be muddy immediately. Wait, jump this. It took all the fun out of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, we totally had to jump this before what's up with the uh, hooks there I guess the hang Backpacks on? I don't know. I wonder if it was a. And I'm not sure what mountain bike trail that is that comes in there. That's a new one. Yeah, you can tell it's. You can tell that's cut with the trail machine. Yeah. It's still a lot of rain, flooded water.
Ja, ja, ja. Yeah, and it's it's a nice experience to walk it yep. because when we're running, you know, we're looking at all these ro roots and rocks, and you just miss a lot of it. So it's nice, slow down, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> That's a pretty good climb here. They probably should call this Suffer Spring. Suffer Springs. Yeah. The L is silent. <laughs> that L is only for the paper, yeah. not for the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do Sulphur Springs or Fire Tower or what? Fire Tower. Okay. So when I moved here in 97, we were doing mountain biking. Yeah. This was the only mountain bike trail. Oh, really? Yeah. And it only went to the top and back down. All right. I remember, I remember all this now. It's starting to come back. Yeah. You're going down a hill full speed. You catch your shoe, the front of your shoe on the route. And you feel like you was going down, but you'd pull out of it, and, and uh, I mean, it was, it was impressive. You know, it's just <laughs> somehow yeah. you wound up not supermaning into the dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fire tower goes that way, and it's just a, a chimney, I believe, or maybe there was a fire tower there, but there's there's a chimney there. Like oh, okay. Old, old homestead. homestead. Yeah. Okay. And this trail wasn't here when we were mountain biking in 97 okay this wasn't here that i remember yeah or maybe it was just off limits to mountain biking i remember being on this trail on my mountain bike uh last time i, I mountain biked up here yeah and i was with ross and i remember going i think down canuga that way and hitting uh, a real rocky section and it, I had a front suspension only mountain bike. And uh, that day I went, when I got home, I went up to South Paul in Clemson and bought that full suspension bike. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. I was like, you know, it, that was before my back surgery. So it, uh, it made a huge difference. That, that kept me being able to mountain bike you know up till now i can still still mountain bike uh 
just because of that full suspension, it don't, it don't bother my back as bad. You know, mountain biking changed my life right yeah. here in this park. Um, I was riding with Tom Shun, Shun failed, Shun? I can't remember. And going down Brissy, uh -huh. caught a rock on that front suspension bike. And I was like the holdout, right? I, I ran stiff suspension, no suspension the whole time. And I finally gave in and bought that front suspension bike. Had it maybe two months, three months. Came out here going downhill super fast behind Tom. Caught a rock, squashed the front suspension, went over the handlebars. Oh, wow. Uh, I caught my hand between my chest and rock and broke my hand. Dang. And uh, couldn't mountain bike. Yeah. So started running. And, you know, three miles went to... Let's do a 5K, which uh, let's do a 10K, let's do all this other crazy stuff that we did. I never picked a mountain bike back up. <clears throat> Changed everything. Yeah. You know my only regrets about um I guess our runs and all was that we didn't do a hundred with you. Oh I couldn't have done that. I never yeah. had it in me that, that desire. Huh? I never had that desire in me. Yeah, I just I don't know why I thought that was coming. I mean you said it several times. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. It was pretty clear. <laughs> No, no, he's he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. <laughs> Nick, which one do you think would be best for him? We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and sign you up. I, I know you'll do it. <laughs> I just felt like we were gonna at some point do that for you.
actually kind of it's a, it's a pretty substantial climb up Brissy Ridge Trail and uh, this top parking lot was always a welcome sight yeah and during races they would have aid stations and stuff here yeah it's always good to come in here and get an orange or a something to drink yeah anything yeah <laughs> see your face yeah right, good morning there's not much parking up here either right? no Early. back in 97 this was the only parking lot for mountain biking this is the brissy trail would come up and then go back down here so it's like a big loop. <clears throat> yeah. So on this side of the road, this is the Sulphur Springs Trail. On the other side of the road, the L is silent in that. So it's a Sulphur Springs Trail. <laughs> yeah, hitting these switchbacks right here on the mountain bike was was a blast. And you come off of this this jump here. I remember running running coming off. Oh yeah. And you'd actually use the bank running. Yeah. Like it would you'd come off at an angle. Yep. Or maybe you'd feel that way. This was always my favorite. Because it was kind of toward the end of a a ride. Hard mountain bike ride. You'd hit these switchbacks, it's all downhill. Super fun. Same way with a run, you know, you, you're running all day, you do the loop, you get here, it's downhill back to the, uh, now that turtle trail, it was kind of a little bit frustrating because you'd get to the end of this trail. And you still have another mile. Yeah, back to the ranger station, but going, going down these trails were, it was a, it was a blast. It was fun. Yeah, I don't see anybody setting up in the shelter. Oh man, this place is slammed. There's absolutely no parking. And this place is completely packed on a Saturday morning. That's another trail there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to eat here? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
what is it? No, man. This is good. It's your own, man. Yeah, man. Talk trash about it all the time. Freeze dry coffee. Instant classic roast. Medium roast. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. It's better than two and a half dollar Starbucks. And I did something that Mountain House is, does better in the backpacker's pantry. It sits upright. Yeah. This does not sit upright. Yeah. You got to pay for that, man. Am I doing something wrong? I mean, that seems like an obvious wall. <laughs> you know, that's something you would want to... Seems like something the backpacker's pantry ought to have figured out. What are you supposed to just hold it while it's I guess. heating up? Yeah. I mean, the thing about it is, is I got the same thing in Mountain House. Yeah. Just... No good. It is actually pretty good. They got a jambalaya and chicken. Yeah. So how far did we wind up with on that trail? Seven and quarter. Thank you, Dad. Well, I was prepared to do eight. I was to do yeah. Mentally. I don't know that I could have done more without water or food. Yeah. So you want to say grace? Yeah. All the way. Yeah, thank you for this food about this food today, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings you've given us, Lord. Thank you for the ability to hike and the love of nature that you imbued us with. Thank you for allowing Scott and I the, the health and the, and the wellness to come out and do this stuff for you. We appreciate all things and thank you for everything you've done. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> surprised at how chilly it is today. Yeah. And the sun and the wind blowing. It's... And I'm completely shocked at how crowded it is. <laughs> Seems like an incredible oversight. <laughs> oh wait, it's not. It was just so hot I couldn't I couldn't open it up. It does stay. It hot. does. Very very good. Yeah. Backpackers pantry. Yeah. And a fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. You had to be strong enough. Yeah. I didn't leave myself any options. I brought beef stroganoff, so. <laughs> I could have anything I liked as long as I like beef stroganoff. Yeah. Well, Mark. Yeah. There is Mountain. It's the best. It's close to Gringle, so it's pretty crowded, I guess. On it's Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, come out here in a week. It's not bad. Yeah. You want to carry in these cookies? Yeah. <laughs>
Lori made them and what do you call this? Vacuum seal. Yeah. Put them in the freezer. Oh man, now it looks like a one giant cookie. Carry off a hump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. One cookie. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Good cookie. But we ran with some good friends, had some good times. Times that you'll never capture again. It's like we, we talk on the trail all the time. Like, you, you kind of wish you had started filming back then yeah because you could put all this stuff to memory you know that we won't have anything of that time yeah other than memory yeah i mean yeah we've talked about this this but while we started started doing this channel just to capture the memories and stuff that we may not ever get to do it again We got it on, we got documented. Yeah, we do. I also find that it helps me um, stabilize in my memory. Like, we do, we do stuff so fast. Yeah. You know, that when you get done, you go, wait a minute, when was that again? What what trip was that again? Well, I mean, like tomorrow, or yesterday was a good example. Where were you yesterday morning? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Sebring, Florida. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How many miles is, is that away? Uh, uh, 500 maybe? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's a long way down there. It's a 10 hour drive. Yeah. And now you're doing it down here. Things. Yeah. But I think, I think we want to live our lives that way. I think, um, I don't, I don't want to look back one day with regret going, God, I wasted my time. I didn't, I didn't see stuff. I didn't do stuff. I didn't. When, when I go, I want to be able to look back and go, I used every minute I could. Yeah. I think that's something we both have in common. Is our lives are show that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the point of it is to, to solidify it in my memory and to create something for my kids to look back on one day and go, God, Mom and Dad were crazy people. Mm. You know, and they had good friends. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably 80% of our lives are at work and, you know, at home uh, because you can't go anywhere because you are at work. So when you do get a chance to get out and do stuff, you know, see as much as you can, do what you can do, enjoy it. Camp. Buck Horn is a facility for large groups. It can accommodate up to 40 people overnight and 75 in the dining hall. It is a wonderful place for a retreat or a wedding, and you can find more info online or at the park office.
Paris Mountain encompassing some 1,700 acres is a Monadnock. Monadnock. That's a mountain that rises up out of otherwise mostly flat ground. It stands alone just a few miles from Greenville. In fact, two of its four lakes used to be the main water source for the city of Greenville between 1890 and 1916. By 1928, Table Rock Reservoir had been put into service and the use of Paris Mountain water declined. It officially opened on June 1, 1937. It was a civilian conservation corps project and the CCC built over 50 structures on the park. There are 17 miles of hiking and biking trails and you can swim or boat in Lake Placid. There are six picnic shelters and you can reserve them for a fee other than the reservation, they are first come, first serve. There is camping in the park. There are 39 paved campsites. 13 of those have tent pads. The sites all have electric and sewer hookups and water hookups and can accommodate campers up to 35 or 40 feet. And you can make reservations at the park or online. Good morning. Yeah, his, he actually said his knees have started bottoming. Yeah. Music in the woods at the amphitheater. So I wanted to show the amphitheater because you can come up here and they have a music in the woods series on music in the summer. bluegrass or whatever it's usually some kind of folk music or some kind of bluegrass music and you can come up here to the amphitheater and listen to bright music cheerfully played So music in the woods, they don't have a 2024 schedule. Yet. 